It is the last week for San Jose City officials to clear the largest homeless encampment there. Yeah, the FAA gave the city until September 30th to empty out the property near the San Jose International Airport, but now there is a new problem. Conference Justin Campbell joins us now live in San Jose with more on that. What is that, Justin? Yeah, and that's right, Vicki and Ken. Uh, the city was given until this Friday by the FAA to clear out this Guadalupe Park encampment that's behind me. And it looks like they've almost completed that step. But now there is a new problem with the park in front of Guadalupe Park. There's no baseball games at Columbus Park. Instead of a pitcher on the mound, the field is filled with cars, RVs, and tents with people living on the dirt. So, you know, kids can't use it, and it's just unhealthy for kids to be out there. You just never know what's going to be out there. You know, could be needles, other stuff out there. Just never know. It's just, uh... Eddie, born and raised in San Jose, says kids need the field to play and grow instead of serving as a home for people like Osai. Process. I had a tent over there. What happened? Um, a month before that, they told us to move. The city of San Jose tells Cron 4 we are still assessing Columbus Park situation as our current priorities are finding resources for the individuals currently living in the FAA land area and clearing the open space as required by September 30th. So far, the city has housed 174 people from that area, but 100 more are in limbo. Like, I want to know where, where can I live without football. And parents want a place for their kids to play. What are we going to do? It's kind of tough, right? Now, we've reached out to the city to find out exactly now that so many homeless people are living at Columbus Park. Where will they go next? What is the plan for them now that they are pretty much almost done clearing out Guadalupe Gardens? We're live here tonight in San Jose. Justin Campbell, Cron 4 News.